This is CJ's Dream Garage. In this video, I'm going to be looking at two 118 scale, one by Mini Champs and one by Norov. It's the GT3 made by Porsche. And these are two different models I want to feature. Uh, the one on the right again is the Norov, and the one on the left is a Mini Champs. Uh, the Norov is in ice silver, um, the Mini Champs is in silver. And they are both beautiful models, but there are some differences. As you can see, first of all, on the front, the license plate on the Norov is existent and Mini Champs does not have one. The Mini Champs, uh, Champs logo for the Porsche is much bigger, um, but there is no mesh underneath. Uh, whereas on the Norov, there is actually mesh, like a metal mesh underneath for that intake. There are also mesh um, on both. Uh, the holes on the mesh are bigger on the Norov model. The Mini Champs model here, um, I opted for the blue, um, kind of like a metallic blue tire rim. And so they look really amazing. And one of the things you'll notice between the two Norov, um, the tires are wider and higher, so they make the whole car look a bit bigger and, and taller. Whereas the Mini Champs are a lower profile. Um, here's a look at the back. The big difference here you can see is the backup lights um, at the bottom. Um, they're just painted red on the Mini Champs, whereas the Norev actually has plastic kind of red that looks real, like you can see light going into it and it looks more realistic. Um, on the side here you can see the profile of the tires on the Norev are much bigger, uh, thicker. So they ride higher, making the car look overall higher. And of course you can see the red brake calipers and the silver rims. Um, but you know, overall, uh, pretty much the same look um, in terms of the molding and the shape of both vehicles. Um, I did get the Norev first, and I think you can get them in about a $200 range if you get them um, from uh, the website, Norev website, um, and then plus shipping, um, which is about 30 bucks, I think. Uh, the Mini Champs, I think, is in the same price range, but the big difference is that this is a resin model and the doors and the hood do not open. And so that's a big difference between the two models as well. I thought I would give a variety, um, but as far as the um, wheels go on the Mini Champs here, it's a very cool print they have on the side that there's actually printed um, Michelin. Uh, the tires um, have the print of all the dynamics of the tire the cup 2 sports and they're really good looking um, the mini champs on the right here uh, just uh, facing the back here the fin on the top of the spoiler is actually movable and so it kind of gives you a real feel of the DRS open or closed and again you can see the front here uh, the mini champs on the left doesn't have that mesh grill it only has a print I think it could be a very fine mesh it's just really hard to tell but on the Norov you can actually see right through the mesh and, and back into the intakes underneath there uh, the decals on both are amazing the GT3 RS that goes across the bottom of the door uh, the intake just before the back tires um, all look good um, although they're not actually mesh uh, nor do they open uh, it's just a piece of plastic inserted um, the taillights are pretty much the same. I'd say there's maybe a little more detail on the Norov um, and the taillight on the Mini Champs is a little bit darker, I believe. Um, but the GT3 branding on the back is the same. Um, the fin or the spoiler on the Mini Champs looks a little bit to a curve to it, whereas the Norov looks much straighter, at least on these models. And of course, the Norov also has the license plate on the back, unlike the Mini Champs. And as far as the tires on this one, uh, the Norov, it's a much lighter look. Um, so it's kind of like, I don't know how you say it, it's like a invisible decal. Um, so you can see the print of Michelin Sport Cup 2 tires on it, but it doesn't, uh, it's not white. So it's just kind of like uh, stenciled or something onto it. Um, the rims around the headlights, um, I noticed that the Mini Champs um, kind of painted the rim around the headlight and so you'll see a little bit more um, of that here in this shot as compared to the Norov where I don't think they did paint that 
um, basically boundary or around it um, as they did on the mini champs you can see a closer up here and those intakes on the hood or outtakes um, for the arrow um, to keep the car low are pretty cool and then over the wheels as well the front tires um, as well as the gas cap there as well I did find as well on the mini champs model here that you can actually see kind of four pinch marks where the door handle connects to the car so it's a little bit more sloppy in that area. It doesn't look as quite as smooth and polished as the Norev model. Uh, both cars actually have plastic um, lights at the top, just above the engine bay where the window is. Um, I guess it's like a backup light or a brake light um, for extra warning of braking. But both have plastic and the light shines through it and it's very visible um, to see the light coming and reflecting through it. And of course, the uh, DRS um, spoiler is one of the most cool features about the new GT3 RSs um, that are adopted from Formula One that allow the car to open up on the straights for most speed possible. But then um, when braking or turning corners, um, getting ultimate downforce with that closed. And the front turn indicators um, on the both are similar looking. Um, I wouldn't say one stands out amongst the other. But here again, you can get to see how small the Porsche badge is on the Norov compared to the Mini Champs. Uh, as far as interior, uh, the Norov is much more detailed. Um, this is probably mostly due to the fact that it is a metal vehicle that you can't open and thus see in. So as far as i can see on the mini champs it's just all black interior maybe with a few nuances whereas the norov actually has this very cool uh, dashboard with all the dials and gauges and everything all different colors and um, very realistic looking and even the paneling or the the fabric on the seats and the side panels of the door inside are kind of like this um, pixelated red mixed in with the black as well which is a very cool look and yeah just a very nice job of the interior done by Norev um, of course because you're paying that extra money um, I do hear that Norev is a little bit more of a cheaper version and so I guess that's why it's almost the same price you pay but with all the open doors as well so it's hard to say which one I would actually go for in some ways. It depends on what you want. Um, I do like most of my cars to have um, ability to roll, to have doors opening and closing. It just feels more realistic. Um, but of course, price ranges aren't always accommodating of that. Um, but in this case, in some ways, I like the Mini Champs look more because it's a lower profile, um, but also it has those blue rims, which are a little bit more rare. I find in terms of when you're searching for these models and I find that Mini Champs maybe has a little bit more variation of the wheel uh, colors as well the rims whereas the Norov I think they have gold um, on a couple of models that I've seen like Malachite green and the orange um, there's some really more radical cars that have like green um, I think that's a, an homage to one of the old Porsches um, and then also, yeah, just mostly silver rims uh, that I can recall uh, by Norev. Um, I think there's one with red as well that's uh, kind of a homage to an older Porsche as well. But as you can see, the detail on both are very good. Um, yeah, these are 2023 models, I believe. And so they're, um, I did get two 2022 models um, that only came in python green and race yellow and i was very pleased with those very high end um, it's kind of strange though because in some ways uh, i guess those were dealership models so therefore the higher price but when i was actually comparing and looking i was kind of expecting this norev um, to be a little bit lower quality but it seems fairly high in comparison to those 2022 ones uh, because Norov did make actually the models for Porsche for the dealerships and so yeah high quality for both of them good price point 
Um, if you like doors opening, then definitely go for Norov. If you like high detailed interior, uh, like all the different dials and such painted every color and the kind of texture feel on the inside of the doors and the seats, the attention to detail there, then definitely go for Norov. But if you're more looking like, hey, I, I just want the look and the low profile, then definitely go for a Mini Champs. And basically, yeah, depending on what kind of rim color you want. As you can see, the top looks very similar. Um, and the headlight settings are about the same. The intakes on the top, the vents over the wheels, uh, those metal pieces on the top and how they deflect the air away from the engine. Um, in this particular shot, you can see the back brake lights more lit up on the Mini Champs than you can on the Norev, but you can see the kind of mesh into the engine area bay and then those big DRS wings at the back. Uh, the Norev one's much more brighter um, because it's like ice silver, so it's lighter. And yeah, both mirrors, you know, on both cars look really good. Um, again, the Norev hand um, handles to get into the doors are a lot more smooth and just feel like a better fit. Um, but sometimes even when I look at the profile from the top here, it does look like the Mini Champs is actually smaller, um, just overall the whole mold or form. And so it's hard to say uh, which one's more accurate. In some ways I do feel like the Mini Champs is more accurate uh, to the real one. It's not as beefy maybe and uh, more tight. And so anyway, it's in the eyes of the beholder sometimes, but I thought I would just take this opportunity to kind of at least give viewers out there a chance to kind of see two different manufacturers of the same model so that they can get a you can get a feel for what you would prefer um, when you purchase and whether you'd like one or the other these are a couple of videos or clips here which just show you up close the back end of both of the Porsches and from different angles um, and also the front end here you can see the Norov and that mesh you can see right into and through and see the some of the directing of that airflow inside and here we have the mini champs uh, back end looks very similar with the diffuser underneath and the same ex dual exhaust in the middle and here at the front end uh, taking a look at that mesh it's very tight and if it's uh, I don't think it's metal mesh but um, it still looks like mesh I guess just not as visible to see through And here's a look at the tires close up with the blue rims and the print on the tires versus the Norev here with the red caliper and the different print. Again, the Norev versus the Mini Champs here. And here's the back end. Again, the big difference between them is the license plate missing on the Mini Champs. And here's just a couple of video clips of the Norev with everything open. So the boot in the front or the trunk, what, I don't know what you call it, I guess, with the back mid-engine car, um, the front access. And here you can see inside the interior has that GT3 RS badge written on the sill of the door. And there you can see the cool pattern on the door with that red uh, texture and kind of pixelized looking. Give it a look like um, more fabric look and all the dials and the buttons with their correct colors on the steering wheel uh, for all those functionalities of the gt3 that are changeable while even driving and of course looking through that front um, as well where the radiator is and the intakes for the uh, or the airflow that would push down on the vehicle for downforce and so thanks for watching the video and Hope you enjoyed them and hope it gives you some insights into your future collecting. Have a good day.